Right, go and enjoy with Sky. Tell me, are you filming? Go and enjoy with Sky. Go and enjoy with Sky. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Go and enjoy with Sky on True Spirit Films. Nice to see you. Uh, we're at the Anti Fracking Speak in Hove in Brighton. Um, just a quick update on what's going on with the fracking stuff and thought I'd give you a good view. Um, shall I throw some sexy facts in there? Yeah. Should we put some sexy facts? Right, so 5% of wells that are going to be drilled in the world are going to fail immediately and 100% will fail over time. This means that 3.8 billion wells in the whole world are going to leak methane into water supplies. And this is quite bad because methane is a very... Um, so that means the methane will leak into all your water supplies. Um, and this is very, you know, difficult to, um, you know, deal with in the body and stuff. And it's also a very dangerous greenhouse gas. Naturally occurring methane is actually not, um, not, you know, able to be smelled. It's, you know, it's got no it's smell. It's got no smell at all. Um, but the processed methane that they're actually using in the fracking wells and to pump down at high pressure has got so much chemicals in that the methane actually becomes um, very easy to smell. Um, so, everybody in the house, you know, that's obviously very dangerous as well. Um, another thing is that uh, mass extinctions, we've been going through mass extinctions um, through the majority of our lifetime um, with the uh, Devonian mass extinction which is 439 million years ago, then leading up to the Permian mass extinction, then the Triassic extinction, then the Cretaceous mass extinction um, and now currently in 2013 we are experiencing the anthropogenic mass extinction, this is the, mix, uh, the mass extinction of all living human beings, um, so this means that civilization and industrial civilization, as we know is actually destroying um, the whole culture of human being. Um, so this is very, very disturbing um, for what we're actually going through in life. Um, another thing is the carbon dioxide parts that are actually in our um, in our atmosphere. If I put it into a ratio um, of parts per million um, for you guys watching, um, CO2 is... Um, very, very, you know, it's widening in the amount that we actually have around in the atmosphere and in the ozone layer. So it's very, very important to actually highlight um, what is going, going in. So if I put it into a ratio of parts per million, um, so at the minute we have got um, a limit uh, which will lead to a feedback loop of 450 carbon dioxide parts per million that the atmosphere can hold. Um, when we get to 450 parts per million, this will actually prove that um, uh, a, a process of a feedback loop, which is actually really difficult to, to stop, or in fact not an impossible to stop. So once we read that feedback loop, doesn't matter how much we stop processing or, or we destroy industrial civilization, it's going to get to the point where it's going to be a vicious circle of just bang, gone, end of civilization. Right, so this May, this is how scary this shit is, yeah? This May, um, it was broadcasted on the news that our atmosphere reached 400 CO2, uh, CO2 parts per million um, which is 50 CO2 parts per million away from this feedback loop which is going to destroy civilization as we know it so obviously as you can see these facts that I've just thrown in that are just simple facts that I've just got off the, the internet and stuff are actually very very scary my name's Sky that was going and drive with Sky True Ferret Films click the button subscribe Ciao.